Once again, Miami became the capital of contemporary art for the Americas for one week in December. Thousands of attendees flocked to the paradisiac city to enjoy the creations of known and emerging artists. This time, with a more significant presence of Asian artists and their creative ingenuity. Art Basel is the main attraction, bringing to the main stage experimental works, pushing the envelope, combining sound, video, percussion, and human vulnerability. What started as a gateway to Latin American and Caribbean art has become a global affair, with 38 countries represented in this year's edition of Art Basel Miami Beach. And from Manila, Philippines, first-time participant Silverlands showcases new large tapestries and altars by Filipino artist Norberto Roldan. I just feel like there's so much connection between the Philippines and Latin America, our shared history, you know, the Spanish, the colonial era and the post-colonial trauma of that. Um, and then, of course, the American, American um, territoriality between, let's say, Manila, uh, the Philippines and Puerto Rico is huge. The work of Chinese Cuban American artist Ching Ho Cheng also debuted at the fair. Cheng was born in Cuba and was the son of a Chinese diplomat. So he grew up in Queens and he graduated from Cooper Union, which is one of the most prestigious art schools in New York. And 1968, you know, he was one of the characters in the downtown movement with Warhol and that kind of scene. Um, and soon moved to the Chelsea Hotel where he lived till his death in 1989. So his life was sort of ended abruptly from the AIDS epidemic, and, um, but not before having a pretty vibrant career and, um, and colorful life. Chang was one of the first Asian American artists to be recognized by his peers. Art Basel attracts dozens of other satellite fairs. Scope is a space for emerging artists, where we met Autumn. A Shanghai gallery owner turned artist. Before pandemic, I used to run a gallery in Shanghai called Inu Gallery um, for six years. And then I, um, due to pandemic, it got closed down. And then I, um, when I got back here, I, when I got back to New York, actually, I uh, slowly, even when I was in China, I already created myself to be an artist. We have a whole collective called Neither Here Nor There from Art Institute our Institute of Chicago. So we decided to take ourselves to Miami to scope. And that's how we ended up here, which is really, really amazing. Miami Art Week was a feast for art lovers and a testament to how Asian contemporary art is being recognized globally. Mitza Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami Beach, Florida.